Hello students, welcome to Mr. TK classes. Our main topic is the basic accounting equation. In this tutorial, we are going to cover general transactions and a few cash transactions. Previously, we covered credit transactions and cash transactions. The links for the previous tutorials will be in the description of this video. These are the answers for the previous tutorials. This is the answer for cash transactions and this is the answer for credit transactions. As discussed before, the basic accounting equation states that assets is equals to equity plus liabilities, whereby this side of the accounting equation has a debit balance and this side of the accounting equation has a credit balance. Our question reads, Amanda Zulu started a business as Amanda Traders on 1 January 2022. The business trades groceries. The following is a list of transactions entered into by the business during the month of January 2022. The business uses perpetual inventory system. General transactions and a few cash transactions. Transaction 11. The owner of the business, Amanda Zulu, brought her private motor vehicle worth 30000 to the business. So, our assets are increasing. So, we are going to have plus 30000 right? So, whenever assets increase, we have to debit because assets have a debit balance. So, we are going to debit motor vehicles. We are going to debit motor vehicles, right? And equity is going to be affected as well, right? Because this is capital, right? The owner brought a private motor vehicle to the business, right? So this is capital. So we are going to add 30,000, right? So whenever equity increases, we have to credit. So we are going to credit we are going to credit capital. We are going to credit capital and we are going to have zero, right? So our accounting equation balances because we have plus 30,000 is equals to plus 30,000. We have account debited and account credited, right? We move on to number 12. Amanda Zulu took groceries with a cost price of 1,000 for private use. If these groceries have been sold, they could have been sold for 1,500, right? Okay. We can see that our core business is to buy and sell groceries, right? Because the business trades groceries. So this is inventory. So inventory was taken out of the business by the owner, right? Inventory was taken out of the business by the owner. So our inventory account is going to decrease and inventory is an asset, right? So whenever assets decrease, we have to credit because assets have a debt balance. So we are going to credit inventory. We are going to credit inventory. Then our equity is going to decrease because this is inventory that was taken out of the business by the owner. So we are going to decrease our equity, right? So whenever equity decreases, we have to debit because equity has a credit balance. So we are going to debit drawings. We are going to debit drawings and we are going to have zero here, right? So you might be wondering why 1,000, not 1,500. Inventory is valued at lower of cost or net realizable value. And we can see that the sales amount is higher than our cost price. So we are going to ignore this sales amount. We are just going to focus on our cost price. Right? Okay, number 13. Paid 7,000 to bulk wholesalers on their account. So previously, we bought goods on credit from bulk wholesalers. So now we are paying. Right? So... This is an outflow of cash. 
this is an outflow of cash so we are going to have minus seven thousand then we are going to credit bank right we are going to credit bank because whenever assets decrease we have to credit because assets have a debit balance right so this is a liability that was being paid right so it means that our liabilities are going to decrease right so whenever liabilities decrease we have to debit why because liabilities have a credit balance right so we are going to debit the trade payables we are going to debit the trade payables right okay we move on to number 14 right number 14 received the payment from a debtor single c10000 so our bank account is increasing right we are going to debit bank because assets increase on the debit side right we are going to debit bank and the other account that is affected is trade receivables right because this is a debtor singles is a debtor and singles he has paid right so trade receivables are going to be affected so it means our trade receivables will decrease and this is an asset so since this is an asset we have to credit whenever assets decrease we have to credit right because assets have a debit balance all right so we have to calculate our totals we have to calculate our totals we are going to say 50,000 plus 25,000 minus 8,000 plus 8,000 right uh, plus 20,000 minus 8,000 right uh, minus 2300 minus 6000 plus 6000 minus 150 plus 5500 plus 7500 plus 15000 minus 5500 plus 30000 minus 1000 minus 7000 plus 10000 minus 10000 so we are going to get 129050 we are going to get 129050 right then equity 50000 plus 20000 minus 8000 minus 2300 minus 150 plus 15000 minus 5500 plus 30000 minus 1000 we are going to get 98050 right then liabilities 25000 plus 5500 plus 7500 minus 7000 this is 31000 right so assets is equals to 129050 then equity plus liabilities 
is equals to One twenty nine thousand and fifty. So this satisfies our counting equation, which states that assets is equals to equity plus liabilities, because we have one twenty nine thousand and fifty here, and we have one twenty nine thousand and fifty here. See you next time. Thank you.